folks thank you for watching my channel today I got up and I had no heat in my house I'm gonna show you a common problem with these aquastats first let's check it out and see what's going on I've got the power on right now, so you got to be careful. You know, there's live electric in there that you could electrocute yourself. So, first I want to see what's going on. I hear my boiler kicking on every once in a while, but there's no heat getting upstairs. So if you look at the meter, you'll see. Let's switch this over to AC. I've got power coming into the aquastat. So that's good. And like I said, I have power going to my burner because I hear that coming on every once in a while. But if you check the circulator, there's no power going to the circulator whatsoever. So your best bet, take a picture of what's going on here. Only do this if you feel comfortable with it. And then what you're going to do is disconnect all that, and I'll show you what goes wrong with it in a minute. I'll be right back. So I've got all the wires disconnected. The power is off. And I'll show you what holds this on. There's a little clamp up here. Unfortunately, they put this uh, pressure gauge right where you got to get at the screw. But you get down here in the screw... And it's not more than a clamp that holds it to this piece of pipe. You'll see what I mean in a minute. And then there's a temperature probe on the back end. So what you want to do, right under this relay, is some solder connections. And for whatever reason, they always seem to go bad. So you pull these tabs out of the way, bend them out of the way. Just like I did there. And then you can get this relay apart. And it's really not complicated. This is like 1950s technology. There's nothing complex in this at all. So you see on the piece of paper, there's some burn marks on there. And for whatever reason, what seems to happen, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, the solder just like disappeared. I don't know what happens to it, whether it just gets vaporized or what, but there's all these contacts. And I've had it where it's been missing off these contacts, and then the burner doesn't work. This one goes up here to the circulator. So I'm going to solder that connection, and then we'll put it back in, and we'll see what happens. Pretty good. Just need to get a little hotter. So, I get a nice bead on there. All right, it's looking as good as factory. While I'm at it, I think I'll put a little solder on these others. Just to make sure I have a good coating. It doesn't look like it's making good contact with that wire. There we go. That's looking better. It's looking pretty good. 
So the others look nice. I think that's good. I think we'll leave it like that and let's install it. And see how it goes. I'm gonna move you back here so you can get a better view. Like I said, it always seems to happen right under this relay. For whatever reason, that cooks that cider right off of there. So I got my piece of paper back on there. I'm gonna stick it back into the housing. Bend my tabs that hold the circuit board back in place. There you go. So now it's all held in. Everything's good. You might notice on some aquastats there's thermal paste in there that this sits into. This never had any from the beginning. I did have someone service this before and they never put it on there so I don't think this particular furnace needs it or boiler rather needs it. So I'm going to mount that back where it belongs. So it just slides in there and then you have the, the clamp, the screw for the clamp that holds it in place. So you just tighten that up. And you don't have to kill it, you're just snugging it up good. And you should have enough that you can turn it a little bit. I mean, you'll know when you got it good. So that's pretty good there. It's, nothing's going to happen to it there. So now it's just hooking the wires back up. If you took a picture of it, you know where you go. But it's also marked on the uh, board itself. This one says circulator, which you can see there is my circulator. It goes up to it. So put that wire through there. Make sure you put your clamp back. Give me the wires. Here we go. I'm not a boiler mechanic. I'm certainly no expert at this. But I know enough that I can get my boiler back in action most times. A lot of it I learned by trial and error, just figuring things out, looking at it. I haven't had any formal training. Every time I have someone come service the boiler, I'm watching what they're doing, not because I want to make sure I'm getting my money's worth, but because I'm trying to learn. So the red wire goes on this. There's a little pin down here that, that slides right on. It says burner on it. The ground wire goes up to the ground.
just check that everything's tight. And my thermostat wires sit down under here. Just got to get this one over the screw. Okay, everything's hooked up. It should be working. I'm going to turn the boiler on. Let's see what happens. There you go. As good as new. So if you've got a similar looking aquascat with that relay on it, just check those contacts under the relay, them. They might need some solder. Thanks for watching my video.